Hello everyone and welcome! Have you ever wanted to do some precision cutting or engrave something fancy on wood, metal, or plastic but didn't have an easy way to do it? Well today we're going to be looking at an affordable and easy to use laser engraver and CNC machine. This is the Nasum AS Pro Fixed Focus Laser Engraver and CNC Machine. This machine has a lot of great features that I will tell you about and it's supposed to be super easy to use even for the beginner. So let's see what this baby can do. But before we do that, if you enjoy watching honest tool and product reviews plus helpful DIY projects, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you get notified every time I produce a new product review video or DIY video. Alright, so let's see what we have here. Like I said, this is a NASM A5 Pro Laser Engraver and CNC Machine. And let's open up this baby right here. And as you can see, there's a lot of stuff to unpack here. So let me get this all unpacked. Okay, so when you unbox this bad boy, this is what you get. There's a lot of stuff in this box. And as they say, some assembly required. So I'm going to show you how to put all this stuff together. Don't worry about that. I'm going to walk you through the whole assembly process. So if you decide to get something like this, you can always check this video and check it out for a full assembly process on how to get it all going. But what do you get inside the package? Well, you get the instruction manual, owner's manual that has all the information on there, how to get it set up, troubleshooting, all that kind of good stuff. And it comes in several different languages, so you should have no problem whatsoever understanding that. With that aside. So you get all the rails and stuff like that and the uh, travel part over here for the laser itself. You get the laser, you get some legs for it to stand up on, the controller box for the laser, the power block over here for the laser, you get the uh, cable to hook it up to your computer, all sorts of different Allen keys and wrenches to be able to assemble all this, some uh, safety glasses in case you want to wear it when you're using the laser because it is a laser device but it does say you don't have to wear this on this particular unit because it has a shroud that goes around the laser itself. I'll go into more detail on that but it includes it just in case you want to be safe. But once we assemble the shroud there shouldn't be a need for it. It has all the hardware and stuff like that that you're going to need for the assembly and it is all very well labeled. As you can see on here everything has step one, step two, step three, etc. So when you follow the instructions in the owner's manual, it'll refer to that and you'll know exactly what bag to choose and put it all together. And it actually includes a few samples of wood and acrylic so you can do some testing and so forth and get yourself up and running. And then it actually includes the software in a USB stick so you can get everything set up. The software is included to be able to control the machine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to assemble all this and I'm going to do a voiceover of all the features. That way we can save time and you can watch the assembly and understand everything this unit has to deliver. So let's get started. Okay guys, so let's continue with the voiceover and as I'm putting this together for you, you can watch me do that and I'm going to tell you the features that this item has. And I will make a quick note, I will be using power tools to assemble this just to make things go a little quicker in the video. But you do not need to have any power tools or any tools whatsoever because everything you need to assemble this is included in the kit. So you can have no tools whatsoever and you'll still be able to put this together without any trouble. So like I said, this is the Nasum A5 Pro Fixed Focus Laser. And I found this on Amazon, but then later I went to the Nasum website and I found it even cheaper there. So that's the link I'm going to put in the description down below. And at the making of this video, it retails for $319.19. And I know there's probably other engravers out there at different prices, some more, some less, etc. But this is the one that I thought had the best features for the price. And it does have a very nice anodized aluminum body and the fit and finish on this is very nice. As I assemble it, I can tell you that everything is going together very smoothly, very easily. Everything pretty much falls in place as you're going to see. I know from experience that a lot of times when you're putting things together, they don't always fit together. You have to fight with them. You have to twist or bend or whatever. This, everything really fits in place very, very easily. The unit has precise scale lines on the X and Y axis for quick measurements. If you need to make adjustments or something like that when you're making your cuts or your engravings, it has a high density laser that can cut through 12 millimeters of wood. It can cut through wood, fabric, plastic, acrylic, cardboard, cardstock, etc. It can directly engrave on smooth stainless steel, 
ceramic, bamboo, leather, plastic, acrylic, cardstock, paper, cardboard, aluminum, and many other metals. The software to run this is already included, it's already free, it's in the package, and it's compatible with Windows XP, Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 10, Mac OS, and Linux. The supported file formats for this are NC, BMP, JPG, PNG, DXF, and many more. It uses a 40 watt laser that has a laser output of 5 to 5.5 watts. The accuracy of the engraving is up to 0.01 millimeters. It is a fixed focus laser with a protective shroud, which means that you don't need to wear safety glasses to protect your eyes from the laser. They are included if you want to wear them anyway, but the shroud around the laser protects your eyes from ever being exposed to the laser directly. Now, as soon as I have this up and running, we're going to do some tests and see actually how well it can engrave. I think this machine has a lot of potential for DIYers to create all sorts of specialty items that you can sell on the internet or just do some fancy engraving to get to friends and family. Things that you can create for special occasions, special people, etc. This unit has a lot of potential, I think, for making your own, you know, engravings or special decorations or something like that. Or if you need to cut some small little pieces out of wood or plastic or metal or something like that, instead of going to a machine shop and have them do it, you can do it yourself at home right now with this little guy right here. So let's continue with the assembly and then let's do some testing. guys so we have the laser already set up and ready to go for its first attempt I installed the software into my laptop I have it ready to go very easy two clicks you're done very small piece of software so I took one of the little pieces uh, sample pieces of wood that came with it and I put it under the laser and I put a big piece of wood under that because I want to protect my table surface so I'm gonna start uh, burning it right now I'm gonna burn my logo into there my first attempt we'll see how it turns out and I do have some fans going in the background because it is going to be burning into the wood. So it's not good to have toxic, toxic gases, noxious gases floating in the air. So I have some uh, fans to circulate the air so I don't breathe all this stuff in. So I'm going to click go and let's see how it performs. And like I said, my first attempt, I have no experience how to use this. Let's see what it can do.
And there you have it guys, not bad for my first attempt. And it is etched into the wood. That is not like a printer, it really burned it deep into the wood. That is pretty good there. That's very, very nice. And I'm sure, it, I get the feeling it burned it out a little too much. If I were to cut down the power a little bit, it'd probably be a little neater and cleaner. Probably at full power is too much because my logo has a lot of black in it. So that means it stays there longer. But if I were to turn it down after a few tries, I could make it look really, really nice. So for a first attempt, that's not bad right there at all. And like I said, that is pretty deep. I run my finger over it and I can feel it really well on there. So that's really good etching on there. Actually guys, here's an update for you. That's the same thing that I just burned right now a couple of moments ago. But I had a thought, I said, I wonder if a lot of that stuff is residue that's left on top of the card from the burning. So I took a damp cloth and I wiped it off. I dried it off and look at it. Just a couple minutes later, look how much better that looks. So it actually burned it really, really nicely into there. The, um, the fuzziness and the unevenness that we saw was just burn residue. You can wipe it off and it comes really clean and very attractive. So that's a really nice looking logo right there. Okay guys, there you have it. A complete assembly and demonstration of the Nasum A5 Pro laser engraver and CNC machine. I didn't do a demonstration of the cutting because I think that's kind of boring and self-explanatory. Besides, this video is getting a little long already as it is. I'm sure you'll see me use this machine more in future videos for other projects. So if you're looking for an affordable and easy to use laser engraver and CNC machine, I can say that the Nasum A5 Pro is affordable, super easy to use and assemble. Check out their website for full details. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye bye for now.